Hi guys, this is Suswara Basu. I'm the CEO and founder of Zero Chain. I'm gonna do a little demo about uh, the D-Storage platform that we have integrated with uh, Oracle blockchain. So here we have uh, an application called uh, Car Dealer. And um, what we have done is we have modified the code and uh, instantiated it on a demo channel and uh, made a call from the application, uh, from the client application, so that um, uh, we can demonstrate how we could upload a document uh, onto our D storage platform and use that document hash to uh, transact on Hyperledger and uh, the endorsers, peers, would be able to download the document, validate the hash, and um, sign up on it. So that's what I'm gonna demonstrate. So the first thing we did was basically um, take the uh, code, um, the car dealer code, and modify it and be able to uh, instantiate it. So the way we did it is uh, we upgraded the chain code, um, you, know, you can choose a different version. So basically, um, we installed a new, new version. So you can type in like 1v18, choose a peer that you want to install it on. Uh, you, know, you could install it on both peers and basically you upload the chain code, which is um, the um, car dealer. Um, the car dealer uh, chain code go code along with the vendor package so this vendor package is all the dependencies that we need for the d storage platform um, so um, example is we need the go sdk and then some other dependencies that goes along with it like the crypto from golang and so forth and then uh, what you do is with when you have this um, code then you need to zip it up and you you basically take that zip you choose this zip and then you um, instantiate it on a channel so um, i'm not going to do that now uh, because it's going to take some time and so what i would do is basically um, so yeah this was selected you can now upload the chain code so basically you would you would instantiate it on a channel uh you can select you know uh, additional peers and then you go next and only instantiate so i'm not going to do that but i that's how you basically instantiate a new chain code i'm um, just going to go through what we have changed so this is the the uh, full um application oh uh, this is oracle blockchain uh, application that we modify and specifically the file we modified is this car traceability version 3 we modified it and uh, made it into uh, our own one of the things we modified is the init vehicle um, init vehicle and the read vehicle so read vehicle and the init vehicle is what we modified uh, methods okay and then on the for the UI, we modified the JS file and the HTML files, and um, we also modified the routes uh, for agent.js. Um, so um, see in JS, we modified the views, we modified add trace, and then we also modified the model add and trace. And then um, we also modified the um, config.json. So the config.json, um, there are parameters that we need to change, like this points to the REST proxy server uh, that the um, application, the client application is calling so that it can submit the transaction to the blockchain. Uh, this is a demo channel where we have instantiated the new code, the new chain code, um, version 17. And this is our username and password to uh, be able to, um, uh, to submit a call to that proxy server. 
And um, this is the server port where the application is deployed. So we will soon um, do that. And, and this is the zero chain um, path for our Zbox CLI and where we are uploading the documents and downloading the documents. And again, this is all in the document that we have um, uh, attached as part of the package. You can download uh, the entire file either through uh, cloning the Git repository or through our Google Drive. A uh, brief demo of the application is uh, shown here. And um, uh, basically, uh, just go through the instructions on how to, uh, if you don't have Go, then basically click Go. Um, then the next thing would be to um, um, make the Go package uh, with Git, which you may already have. Uh, for Mac, this is the command. And then you install the Go SDK through this one line command and the Zbox CLI um, uh, by uh, first creating a directory and then um, um, having creating a node CML file and then cloning with this one line um, git clone method. And then you need to run and build, um, you need to build basically Zbox. So once you have done that, you have Zbox CLI and the Zbox, which should then go into these directories. So you need this too in order to um, uh, point to the Zbox in order to execute the Zbox CLI. And then once you've done that, um, you need to start um, on your terminal, you start on your local npm, npm start. And so it will say, okay, if it doesn't have a wallet, it will create a wallet, and then it will create an allocation. An allocation is like a volume uh, in DStorage, so it will create a wallet on DStorage platform, it will create a volume, if it already exists, then it will say what that ID is, and this is the ID. And then it will basically upload file to that allocation. So let's go to the demo. So now uh, add vehicle part. So we add, um, let's say part name vehicle two, serial number two two, owner sp, sp, and then choose file. Uh, we can choose um, the demo PDF and then we add the vehicle part. So now it is calling the REST proxy server. It's first it calls the wallet and then uh, uploads the data and you can see all of that happening in the terminal. Um, so you can see the wallet exists, it uploads the file um, and then it gets the auth token and then it submits the auth token to um, the uh, uh, REST proxy server. And you can see that also on, you look at the channel. Uh, so it's been installed in demo channel. You can see that this was executed. So in a vehicle, there it is, C22 is the part number and this is uh, SB is me. And then, um, and so it's basically made that transaction and make that call um, and it's been verified by the peer, peer one. Now, if you go back to the, now you can look up this information to two and run a query on it. Now it's reading vehicle and it reads the vehicle, the vehicle that we just uploaded, and you can click and download it, and there it is. The document is downloaded from the DStorage platform. Now, if you go back, um, if you go back to the channel, you will see another transaction being made for the read. So, 
there it is, another transaction for the read. This is the read vehicle part we just executed by uh, querying for that part 22 and the result says it's valid. So what that means is basically it checks the hash of the content of the file, it downloads the file, checks the hash against the content and is able to uh, verify it. Again, this is, if you look at um, the chain code, if you look at, Uh, 17, if you look at the log file, you will see um, all the log files, basically it's invoking in terms of the actual file hash. Um, this is basically how the chain code is executing. And you can see it's comparing the hash of the document downloaded versus the hash that is in the metadata. And that's all uh, for the demo. I hope you enjoyed the demo and uh, be able to replicate it by having your own Oracle blockchain and download this code and be able to change the configuration um, in the config.json and point to your blockchain. Thank you.